Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'm gonna discuss that how we can implement the KNN algorithm in our programming language. Let's get started. For the data set, I'll be using the same data set which I've used in my previous video. The social network ads, I'll be using the same. So let's uh, start this video, right? First of all, let's load the data. It's available in my uh, D drive. So let's load it first with the read.csv. Okay, and we have to give here, we know that what's a parameter we have to use. We have to use here file equal to, okay, uh, the data set, okay, which is social network ads, okay, dot CSV and header equal to true. Okay, load it. Let's see the data set now. Now we got our data loaded, all right? In this case, you can see we are having a data available. Uh, we have a user ID, gender, age, estimated salary, and purchased, all right? So let's uh, first of all do one thing. Let's first of all do the subsetting so that we just require the, the columns which we uh, want to focus on. So I'll be uh, doing the subsetting here, data set equal to data set and we have to use subsetting then i just need these index number columns so if i can again print this out you can see now we are left with only three columns all right which is nothing but age estimated salary and purchase so in this case purchase it's it will be my dependent variable age and estimated salary will, will be my independent variable so the concept is same that we just want to find that whether the person uh, with the age and estimated salary parameters is going to purchase some product on social network or not all right this is the two parameters these are two independent variables and dependent variable is purchase which we want to estimate or predict all right this is done now first of all we need we, uh, we have to now uh, encode the target feature as a vector as a factor right so the target feature is you know purchase the independent variable so data set dollar purchased let's encode it into a factor we all know how to do it with a factor function and data set purchased okay and then simply write levels okay levels will be we know it is either 0 or 1 so it will be with the combined function 0 or 1 okay we are done it is done afterwards now, now let's split the data set into training and testing set we need to load a library library ca tools okay that we already have used in my previous video as well okay and we can also set up the seed value okay one two three done afterwards let's split it out so we're gonna split equal to a uh, sample dot split okay it is 75 percent ratio sample dot split and then data set dollar purchased okay and then we can specify split ratio s capital split r capital ratio is equal to 0 0.75 so we have a training testing will be divided accordingly so we are having training set okay equal to subset function and we're gonna now divide this whole data into two parts uh, training and testing data set comma split is equivalent to true and the same statement we have to repeat for testing set as well it will be false this time around false so this is done afterwards we just have to write here testing set testing set okay all done so we have a training set and testing test set available we can i can show you which are, we are more concerned with testing set this is a testing set available okay we have divided this accordingly and in the same way we can check our training set as well we got both the data ready with us all right Moving further, let's do the feature scaling as well because the you can see the from a data training or testing whatever you can see this this salary column is a bigger value right at the age column is a smaller value so I want everything on a same scale for this we're gonna do the feature scaling okay so we have to remove our last uh, column because this is the dependent variable so minus three means we are dropping that out and afterwards we're gonna use scale function and in which we're gonna use training set okay and uh, specify minus three and same we have to do for the testing set as well so same we can use testing 
set minus 3 equal to scale and testing set minus 3. Okay, we are done. We are done with this. Scaling has been done. Now, next step is to apply the KNN to the training set and predicting the test set results. For this, we are going to use the library which is called class. In case you do not have this, you have to just install with the install.packages function. Okay, for this, now we are going to predict that. So, I am going to use this as a variable name equal to KNN as a function. It has got multiple parameters. First is train parameter in which we have to pass the uh, training set. Okay, training underscore set minus three. Okay, here we have to put everything over there except third column. Okay, then we're gonna have test second parameter in which we're gonna put it out the testing set. Okay, and do the same thing again, comma minus three. Okay, afterwards what to do? We have to use CL parameter. CL means we have to pass the dependent variable because this classifier also required the dependent variable as well because accordingly it will do the approximation. So, here we have to pass with the training set, training set, okay, and we can specify here the column name which is 3, okay. So, 3 will be there now, all right. And last one is number of neighbors. So, it will be defined with the help of K number of neighbors I want it as 5 and I guess we are done with this let's see if it's working or not I'm again repeating the main function is KNN in which the first parameter is train in which we are passing training set by ignoring the last uh, column which is a dependent variable again test as a again we are ignoring the third column the, for testing set CL meaning is we have to pass in uh, here the dependent variable which is my purchased and K equal to 5 means we have want 5 neighbors Okay, we are done. I guess we can check now the results. What we got? This is the results we got in which we got the answers 0101 and let's also compare it with the training set. Sorry, testing set. So, testing set. Okay. All right. This is the data we have. This is the like uh, vector we got from PRED. Okay. You can check now. So, we are having first five, I guess, zeros. Here we have first five zero, one, two, three, four, five. Then we have three ones, we have four ones. I, I, I guess I've already told you multiple times in my previous video as well because no algorithm is perfect. So we may get some misclassification as well, but you can see uh, the, we can have, we have checked from the first, I guess seven or eight, they all are looking good. We may have some misclassification as well. We can, we can check with the help of confusion metrics. Let's do the, let's make the confusion metrics the last point of today's video. Okay, confusion matrix. I'm just writing this variable name equal to uh, test testing set. Okay, and here we can pass the third column. Okay, which is uh, which we gonna uh, uh, which is a target variable, which is my we uh, can say the dependent variable, comma the 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 previous uh, we have used. It was let me check. It was pet t, na? pet t, okay. Conf matrix equal to uh, test set, testing set. Then we have pass here comma 3 and pet t, all right. Okay, we have some issue here. Let me check where we have done the mistake. Unexpected, okay. Sorry, sorry, we missed here table. Now we are done. Okay, let's check out, out the answers. Conf matrix results. All right, you can see now. I've already told you that uh, the diagonals means this is all good. Means uh, zero zero means they are well uh, defined. Fifty nine means uh, this zeros has been predicted as zeros. This thirty means thirty is all good. Means fifty nine plus thirty they are all uh, well classified. But six plus five means these are misclassified. It means out of all the uh, data we are having, only 11 got misclassified, but remaining this 89 all done well because of because we got 100 in testing and remaining we got in training. So out of 100, 11 got misclassified, but all our others are uh, well classified. I hope you must have understood from this video that how we can implement KNN in R. In case if you have anything to uh, comment on, you can just comment on this video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.